This adaptability is quite important when dealing with polymorphic malware because it can potentially identify new previously unseen variants. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how machine learning, which is one of the most important mechanisms of an antivirus, can detect polymorphic malware. In recent years, the field of cybersecurity has been constantly evolving as cyber threats continue to advance. Polymorphic malware, which is a subtype of malicious software, can be quite the challenge for traditional signature-based detection methods. This type of malware is designed to change its code and appearance with each infection, making it difficult to identify using static patterns or signatures. So as a counter to this type of malware, machine learning mechanisms were born. So in this video, I'll be going over what polymorphic malware is, the role of machine learning in the detection of such malware, as well as some of the mechanisms that machine learning models use in such a process. Now, before we get into the video, if you're looking for some antivirus suggestions that use machine learning techniques, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend along with some discounts in the description down below. Well, a polymorphic malware is a form of malicious software designed to get around detection by constantly changing its code or structure. This characteristic makes it difficult for traditional antivirus software to recognize and eliminate such threats. Polymorphic malware typically includes a polymorphic engine, which automatically generates new code variants for each infection, which makes sure that the malware structure is different each time it infects a new system. These variants can be generated through various methods such as encryption, code obfuscation, and randomized data insertion. The main goal of polymorphic malware is to make it challenging for security software to create signatures for its identification and removal. The constantly changing nature of polymorphic malware has created several challenges for conventional detection methods. Signature-based detection, which depends on known patterns or signatures to identify malware, is basically useless against polymorphic threats since each instance of polymorphic malware is unique. Creating and updating signatures for every variant is literally impossible. Also, the resource-intensive nature of signature updates can also slow down the process making it ineffective against rapidly evolving threats. And so these sorts of challenges have led antivirus vendors to use machine learning models to counter polymorphic threats. Unlike traditional signature-based methods, machine learning approaches do not rely on predefined patterns or signatures. Instead, they use algorithms and models that can adapt and learn from data to make predictions. This adaptability is quite important when dealing with polymorphic malware because it can potentially identify new previously unseen variants. Now, before we get into the different ways machine learning can be used to detect polymorphic malware, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why, Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. The Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint instant data leak notifications with Surfshark Alert, and Surfshark Alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. 
Now let's talk about some of the ways machine learning is used to detect polymorphic malware. For starters, machine learning models, specifically those based on unsupervised learning, are used to detect deviations from normal system behavior. By continuously monitoring the system's activities and analyzing data points, these models can identify patterns that are inconsistent with typical operation. Polymorphic malware often shows odd behavior patterns, making this approach quite effective in its detection. Next up, we have feature extraction. Machine learning models can extract features from the malware code or behavior, such as API calls, system calls, and code sequences. These features are then used as an input data for the models to classify whether the code is malicious or harmless. Feature extraction helps in identifying common characteristics of polymorphic malware across its different variants. Another method that uses machine learning to detect polymorphic malware would be behavioral analysis. Machine learning models can analyze the behavior of software to determine if it intends to do harmful activities. By comparing the behavior of the software to a baseline of normal behavior, these models can flag activities that deviate from the expected norm. Behavioral analysis is really important in identifying polymorphic malware, which may have similar or identical functions but different underlying code structures. Other than that, we have clustering and classifications. Machine learning algorithms, including clustering and classification techniques, can group similar malware variants together. This allows security professionals to understand the relationships between different variants and leads to identification of new polymorphic polymorphic strains based on their similarities to known ones. And finally, some security solutions combine machine learning with traditional signature-based methods to improve overall malware detection. This hybrid approach uses the strengths of both techniques, allowing for the detection of known and unknown polymorphic malware. And that's basically it for today's video on machine learning and the different ways it can detect polymorphic malware. In case you're looking for an antivirus solution that uses such mechanisms, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend along with some discounts in the description down below. So make sure to check those out. Also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love to interact with you guys. And that will be all for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.